Welcome back to Blockchain Pill. My name is Alex, and today we'll see what's been happening inside the ICP ecosystem and in the crypto space in general. And I think that it is pretty clear that AI agents are going to be this cycle's DeFi. It is just incredible the growth that we've seen in the AI space of crypto, and it just keeps going up and up and up and up. And everybody's looking from outside this AI and AI agent sphere, thinking, where is the bull run? Why are my tokens not pumping and all this AI crypto? is going 10x, 100x, 1000x. It is crazy. Everybody's waiting for it to drop, but they just keep going higher. So you can just have a simple look on uh, this website on cookie.fun, which is like a coin gecko or coin market cap for AI agents. And although we're seeing uh, projects, huge, massive projects like AI 16Z going 140x, 150x, projects like Virtual, this pumped even more from two cents. It's now sitting at $3. This is also 150x. And those are massive projects that are actually building infrastructure for people to be able to launch their own AI agents. And although those pumped like crazy, uh, the entire market cap of all the AI agents present in crypto is only 15.5 billion, which is nothing. This is, this is not even 5% or 10% of the market cap of Ethereum. So this is still, in my opinion, extremely early. Because if we have a look when those projects started pumping, this started somewhere in October. So 25th October is when AI 16Z launched. I'm not recommending you go buy it right now, but I think uh, people thought they lost AI 16Z when it was at $500 million. And you don't have to believe me when I'm saying that AI agents are the future. You can listen to somebody who has a lot more experience than I have, and that is the CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen Huang who says AI agents will drive a multi-trillion dollar industry. Yeah, if this is gonna go to 100 billion at the top of this bull run, well, people are gonna look back and say, you know what, maybe it was not that late at 2 billion. Once again, I'm not telling you go buy it, but I, I just wanna, you know, help you and myself, you know, change our perspective to when we think it is too late. Something really interesting has come up, and I think that this is gonna be extremely bullish for the Internet Computer Protocol. AI16Z, which is one of the leaders in AI infrastructure, may get their AI infrastructure on the Internet Computer Protocol. And I want to give a little bit of history about AI16Z because um, a couple of months ago, I received a reply from uh, Kyle here from the swap telling me something very interesting, which I think you're going to find it very interesting as well. I made this tweet. It was what? It was November. So super, super early for the AI thing, for the AI boom. And I said that, how funny would it be that the first ones to adopt ICP on-chain solutions were MemeCoin DAO that builds AI agents? At that point, I thought that AI16Z was just a meme, but I uh, didn't really look into the infrastructure that they built. Kyle from the swap here said that, well, they came from ICP. So this is uh, some secret alpha. The AI16Z team actually started on the Internet Computer Protocol. They, they didn't manage to secure the funding that they needed. So they decided to go to Solana, where the volumes are, build AI16Z there, grow it to billions, where it is right now, to $2 billion. And I think that they are planning to get their AI on the Internet Computer Protocol. Because the only thing that is keeping Eliza and AI16Z you know, not fully independent right now is the fact that they are hosted on Amazon Web Services, on Google Cloud, on Web2 servers. If they manage to get those AI agents on the blockchain, then they would be 100% independent and nobody would be able to stop them. And I think that's the, that's the goal. And the reason why I think AI16Z may come to the Internet Computer Protocol, besides logically it being the next step for AI agents, is this tweet by Daniel. He says, and I think that he's involved with the AI16Z team, and he says that they are decentralizing the entire ELISA stack. The entire AI could live and breathe in its own canister. A uh, canister is an ICP canister smart contract. So AI16Z coming to the Internet Computer Protocol to host their AI agents on the blockchain is extremely bullish both for AI16Z and for the Internet Computer Protocol because ICP is the only place where you can actually host anything on the blockchain and this is going to become clear. All the blockchains, you know, saying, claiming that, you know, we have AI on chain, AI this, AI that. Uh, well, you know, when people are going to try to actually use them for AI, they are going to wake up and realize that you cannot use them. And uh, the only solution is going to be the Internet Computer Protocol, which is extremely bullish. And for AI16Z, $2 billion market cap, if it's going to go to $100 billion this uh, cycle, it's still extremely early. Keep in mind, they launch in, in October. So October, November, December, and uh, we're at the beginning of January right now. So it's, it's less than uh, four months. It's three months. I think this is early. 
right now. And here is a party of the swap. And we're going to see a lot of big names here. Between them are going to be one of the founder, like the main guy of AI16Z was here. Shout out to the swap for uh, organizing the, this party and getting all those, you know, big guys together here. I really do think that ICP is going to be one of the main players of this cycle. Even just for this alone, the fact that you will be able to run AI agents on the blockchain, and uh, this is gonna change the game for AI agents. Recently, we've seen the first AI agent running on the ICP blockchain, and uh, it is this AAA agent AI. And uh, it's a funny thing because you can actually interact with it the same way you interact with Eliza or you know the other agents. You just tag it, you know, and ask it a question and then uh, it can decide to answer it to you. And I actually asked it a question because we have a, a massive thing coming up on uh, the Internet Computer Protocol, Caffeine AI, which is like a, a chat GPT-like you know, interface where you can actually tell it to build you a website or an application. And just by typing to it and talking to it, uh, it actually builds your product. Let's see where I tried talking to... Uh, this guy. Hey, AAA agent, be honest. Were you created by a certain AI tool that has a cool coffee cup as its logo? So basically asking it if, if it was created with this caffeine AI. The response was very cryptic. Let's see what else you can do with this AAA agent because they introduce a way to be able to uh, mine the tokens of AAA. The people that interact the most with it every single week receive a code and they can take the code and go to the website and they can mine the AAA token. We don't have a lot more details about this, but you go here, uh, you add the code that you received and you can deposit ICP to start mining the tokens. What I love is that we're finally starting to see the AI narrative starting to push inside the internet computer ecosystem. We have an update from uh, Bob.fun, which is right now the hottest project on the internet computer protocol. And Bob is gonna launch Alice.fun, which is gonna be a DAO, a fund and an AGI decentralized via the SNS platform. So. Let's have a look at the Definity Forum and see exactly what this is about. Alice is like an AGI for the Bob ecosystem. The community is gonna be the controller of those uh, three products. The second part of, of this project is gonna be the fund, we're gonna manage the DAO treasury. And finally, we're gonna have the AGI, the chatty AI that reads and writes on Twitter, Telegram and comments and uh, on launch.bob.fun. The Alice DAO is essentially the brain of the operation, autonomously managing fund.alice.fun agi.alice.fun and all bob.fun projects and itself. All launchpad fees go straight to Alice with 5% of new tokens launches airdrop to Alice takers because why not share the love? Cool. So this is basically going to be a DAO that is going to control all the uh, Bob projects, which I think is super cool. And let's have a look at the token distribution because I saw a lot of people uh, were upset with this. So 0% are going to be in the treasury. 5% of the tokens are going to be airdropped to launch.bob.fun users, which is cool. 15% airdrop to Bob holders. Loyalty has its perks, and that's true. 20% for Robert. This is where people had a problem, you know, with 20% for Robert. But, you know, if I remember correctly, every single project that launched uh, via the SNS, you know, had like 15 to 20 to 30% for the team. Well, you know, Robert is the one developer of the project, so of course he needs to have an allocation. Like this man built a project that generates 90 to 95% of all the fees generated in the ecosystem. And, you know, now he's going to launch a DAO to control all of the projects. So, of course, he has to get some percentage. Like he cannot just give it away for nothing. And, uh, yeah, he's going to be the core developer after all. So he has to have, you know, a big voice in it. Honestly, I don't see any problem with that. Finally, 60% of the tokens are going to be uh, for sale during the decentralization swap, which is great. This is more than any other project. So I really love this. And I think that this is a great step forward for uh, Bob and for the ICP ecosystem. As I mentioned earlier, AI and AI agents are going to go crazy in crypto and especially on the Internet Computer Protocol. And I want to use this occasion to give a shout out to uh, one of our native AI agent uh, platforms on the Internet Computer Protocol, Elna AI. And people are actually paying attention to it because it has pumped quite a little bit. It's pumped like 2x from the bottom. So people are paying attention to this. Let's have a look at the platform. And uh, on Elna, you can actually uh, train your own decentralized AI agents. Now, can you get them on Twitter and to automate them and to have them speak on Twitter? I don't know. I need to look uh, better into it. Maybe have the Elna team back for a podcast. I had them a couple of times. But, you know, the AI craze was not really here. So I think it's time for, for another podcast and check it out if you can actually have those AI agents 
and connect them to a Twitter account and have them launch tokens and whatnot. So pay attention to Elna because this is one of the best plays inside the ICP Echo as far as AI agents go. So shout out to them. If you're watching this video, want to jump on a pod, you're always welcome. Let's have a look at the most expected product that is going to come from the Definity team inside the ICP ecosystem. And this is Caffeine AI. Caffeine's mission is to enable anyone to create and update web apps and internet services by talking. And uh, this is the website. And in order to access it, you need to actually have a, an invite code, which uh, nobody has. This is going to be like a chat GPT where you just tell it what to build you. And then you can tell it, you know, maybe change this, change that, add a, you know, login with the Gmail, add login with the internet identity and so on and so forth. So this is going to be an incredible tool and this is going to allow everybody to build apps. So we're going to see a, a crazy app explosion on the internet computer protocol, something like we've never seen before. And this is going to really change the game. People are waiting and have been waiting for Caffeine AI for a few months now. And uh, Dominic Williams made this post here. Somebody asked him when Caffeine AI and he said that more info very soon. He's recording a video and uh, note caffeine is just a manifestation of something much deeper. I'm working right now on getting all the available information that we have, you know, on X and from Dominic videos and so on and just compile it and, you know, to present to you all the info that we have about caffeine. So stay tuned for that. This is going to be uh, huge and I think that everything is lining up for an extremely, extremely bullish scenario for the Internet Computer Protocol. So whatever price targets you have, you know, forget about that. And uh, because we got, we're going to need new price targets for ICP. I want to give a shout out to one of the ICP community members. He doesn't need an introduction because everybody knows him. It is Bobby O. He had a great debate with uh, Robert from uh, Multiverse 6. Robert is a core developer at Multiverse X. This part at the end here was uh, absolutely great where uh, Bobby was explaining that ICP is not really competing with other layer ones. ICP is competing to Amazon Web Services and Google Cloud and, you know, basically the centralized cloud services. And you can replace the centralized cloud with ICP and everything else can remain the same. And it's going to be uh, way, way better than it is right now. And that's basically the discussion and the point that Bobby was trying to make. All in all, I, I feel this was a great discussion. And finally, let's have a look at the zero to 100,000 wallets because uh, the market dumped a little bit. So let's see how, how it's looking. The value of the wallets are down a little bit now. We've seen a, a, a market-wide dump. Uh, so that is expected, especially with all the mint tokens that I'm holding and those wallets. So we're currently sitting at 6,400 on ICP swap with another close to 900 on KongSwap. Shout out to all the projects that, you know, sent an allocation for this challenge. I really appreciate it. And I want to give a shout out to a project that I forgot to mention in the previous video and the project is uh, Dominson. Uh, let's have a look at their Twitter page. This is a meme token launched on the Internet Computer Protocol, the fastest carrier for Definity in the entire world. We will deliver blocks to any corner of this world in seconds. Thanks to us, ICP is working 24 seven, which is cool. They are very active on social media, posting a lot and interacting with the ICP community, which is exactly what you want to see from an ICP project and from a meme token, especially. So very good job. And uh, yeah, those are the wallets. Shout out to all the projects here and uh, to all the projects on KongSwap, which by the way, has a new uh, UI. You can see the hot tokens here at the top. You have a, a light theme and a dark theme. We're gonna keep it dark. And what I really like at the stats here, you now have a bubble similar to uh, the one you have on ICP tokens. You now have your own bubbles on KongSwap. So that is pretty cool. You can now track your favorite tokens here as well. Cool. So with that, we're done. And I, I just want to remind you, I do think that AI agents and AI in general is going to be the DeFi of this cycle. Selling the tokens that you've been holding for the past two, three years now, when they are at, you know, at the bottom compared to Bitcoin, just to chase something which went up 100, 150, 500 X. I don't think that's the smart move, but at least, you know, try and look at, you know, what is going on and uh, find a good projects. Inside the ICP ecosystem, we're sitting very well because ICP is gonna be one of the main players uh, when it comes to AI, When especially when AI agents are gonna migrate to ICP to actually exist on the blockchain. So we're, we're good, we're good on ICP. The other projects, you know, that are claimed to be to do AI, I don't know, I wouldn't be able to tell you, but do your own research, do not listen to a random guy on the internet. And uh, that's the video for today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.